Jesus said, I was hungry and you fed me, thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you received me in your homes, naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you took care of me, in prison and you visited me. Matthew 25, 35 to 36. American Baptists have never traveled the easy road because easy doesn't change the world. To do Christ's work, to be his hands and feet on this earth, we have endured whips, ridicule, prison, and even death. We are American Baptists. Mission is in our DNA. In the 19th century, we were there when Adoniram Judson crossed oceans and suffered imprisonment to bring Christ to the Burmese. And we were there when the Holy Spirit let us loose the bonds of slavery from the hands and feet of our brothers and sisters. In the 20th century, we were there to bring hope to those in prison camps with Jitsuo Morikawa and to march with the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for social justice during the civil rights period. And today, we are here with Lauren Bethel as she engages in a ministry to halt human trafficking. We are here continuing to use our hands and feet to serve Christ. We help rebuild lives as we respond to disasters. How many hands and feet does it take to bring new life to destroyed communities? Thousands of American Baptists continue to generously give of their time, talents, and treasures to help the Gulf Coast recover from the devastation wrought by Hurricane Katrina. In 2005, AB men were among the first responders. Today, together with national ministries, our regions continue to field spirit-driven teams with the heart, hands, and muscle to rebuild homes. Some 60 volunteers from our Great Rivers region spent a week at the Blitzville in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I think if pastors and congregations will come and to this kind of ministry and mission trip, what they will discover is what it means to uh, give people a cup of water. They will recognize needs and, and see how they can help people. And then when they go home, they will understand and recognize these same needs that may be across the street that are in their own community. We offer healing hands, and solace to the ailing. International Ministries brings medicine and medical treatment to the world through medical missionaries like Bill Clemmer, who oversees a medical relief project in the Congo. There, the AIDS epidemic has devastated the population. Bill finds, however, that the touch of a human hand is a vital medicine. Your generosity helps us sustain these and other caring ministries at home and abroad. And I was talking with a woman who was cl clearly dying in one of our mission hospitals from AIDS. But doctor, no one has touched me. No one has laid their hand on me for over two years. Before I die, I just want to feel the touch of a human hand to know that I am worthy. And you know, she is worthy. God loves We spread hope around the world by engaging in vital ministries as the hands and feet of Christ. In our local churches, in our regions, and with organizations and people, American Baptists are committed to servant ministries. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, hope comes in the form of Esperanza, the largest Hispanic ministry in the U.S. Reverend Luis Cortez founded this ministry 20 years ago as a national ministries missionary. Today, Esperanza offers services and resources that include a job training program, a junior college, a 9th to 12th grade charter high school, a campground, housing and economic development programs. And there's nothing greater than seeing a person who you've helped five years ago come back and say, I now have a job with uh, health benefits, my kids are doing better, um, and I'm ready to buy a house. We minister to the needy. 
In the trash heaps of Cochabamba, Bolivia, people live without running water and other of life's basics. Members of an extreme team from international ministries find that a simple bath that washes filth and toxins from these small bodies is a gift beyond measure. These American Baptist young people are there to be the hands and feet of Christ. They represent us and challenge us to continue doing Christ's work. Whether we're in the Congo, New Orleans, Bolivia, San Francisco, or Philadelphia, or anywhere in the world, our hands and feet are an extension of those hands that 2,000 years ago reached out in love to all, and those feet that walked the road to Jerusalem to bring us salvation and triumph over death. See my hands, stop doubting and believe. American Baptists, be the hands and feet of Christ.